Soundstream sent us something really interesting from their new line of subwoofers this year. Their USB 10P under seat powered subwoofer enclosure. This vented die cast enclosure features a built-in Class D amplifier and a 10 inch subwoofer with two passive radiators. Plus Soundstream claims that the amplifier does 400 watts RMS. Inside the box is a warranty card, user manual, remote base control, with extension, high level speaker harness, mounting hardware, and under seat powered subwoofer. I'm already digging the USB 10P. However, I'm a little confused by the name. When I first saw it, I was like, oh, whoa, a powered subwoofer with a USB input. Now I'm guessing it stands for under seat box. Either way, don't be fooled, it's not a flash drive. Instead, the USB 10P is a solid competition to similar products like Kicker's Hideaway and Pioneer's TSWX 400DA. Rating the enclosure at 400 watts RMS. That's more than twice the power of any other underseat subwoofer we've showcased. And this thing can fit in those tight spots, like behind or beneath the seat or hidden away in the trunk. Its dimensions are three inches in height, 11.4 inches in width, and 15 inches in length. The subwoofer inside the enclosure is two ohms. The amplifier features several adjustments, including phase shift, auto on and off, low pass filter, bass boost, and input gain. Connect the remote base control to its input to adjust levels up front on the fly. Connect it to your aftermarket head unit using its RCA low level inputs and your stereo's RCA preamp outputs. If your head unit does not have pre-outs, like all factory head units, use the high level speaker input and speaker harness with the speaker outputs on your factory stereo's wiring harness. We recorded some audio of this underseat powered subwoofer. Let us know in the comments below how you think it sounds. First, we'll just go up a frequency scale. So this is starting at 25. And we listened to make sure that the amplifier is not clipping and we took it to the limit. The amplifier will clip hard with tons of distortion when pushing it too hard. About it. Would it be possible to play a song? Now we'll test SPL at each frequency. Note that we're at 12 volts and the pickup microphone is very close to the enclosure. In a vehicle, you will get some cabin gain.
Get your underseat subwoofer with us today at qualitymobilevideo.com. Links for everything in the video bio below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button. But if you hate it, click the dislike button. Join the conversation below and subscribe to our channel if you're new. Thanks for watching.